Welcome back, Basket Nation. How's everybody doing today? Today I'm here with Zalo, and what are we doing? Oh man, we've seen a dragon boss. We fought the Broodmother boss, and now it looks like we have a brand new one coming to Ark Survival Evolved. Look at this, a giant white gorilla. You Ooh, see this? I think, I think this is the third boss in Ark Survival Evolved, so that'll be the yep. three obelisks. I uh, think this one yeah. might be on uh, the blue one. What do you think? Um, when it comes down to it, I do think the blue one would be the most fit for it, but it really depends on, like, how they take the direction of, you know, opening up the obelisks for the different bosses, because right now, it's just the Broodmother and all three of them, so. Yeah, but man, guys, so, look at this, new Gorilla Boss! Oh, he is insane, look at this injuries across his face and yeah, shoulder. What is this? Dude? Is that injury, or is it some sort of, you know... Like his face is ripped off or something. Look, he doesn't have an eyeball at all. Look at that. Yeah. He doesn't have an eyeball. He only has one eye. Been through oh, some man. kind of tough times. <laughs> um, of course, this looks a lot like the Broodmother dossier, so it doesn't tell us a lot of direct information, mm -hmm. but we can see uh, some things about it. One thing I'm noticing right now is in the little corner of it, you see the size of a human compared to him. Yeah. So he's about four times as tall. So, like, he looks like he's going to be about 20, 25 feet tall and just packed full of muscle. Yeah, so, um, honestly, we don't really know exactly if it's a boss, but we can kind of confirm it from the looks of it. Let's see, it's bigger than a human, much bigger oh, than a yeah. human. It has the same kind of, uh, uh what do you want to call it, like a DNA kind of a uh, thing? That's what the, uh, Broodmother yeah, had. Yeah, the helix is all around it. Yeah, look at that. We have, I actually have, like, a reference picture of the Broodmother. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so as you can see, it yeah. really looks like the Broodmother, uh, dossier, but obviously, you know, it's a giant gorilla instead. So. Yeah. But dude, so what do you think of this? It's like a white King Kong in uh, absolutely in, in Ark Survival Evolved. Dude, it's gonna I, like rip a T Rex open or something. Yeah, I can imagine it can tear through T Rexes like it's nothing. Probably, you know, mm -hmm. equally if not an even tougher fight than the Bird Mother, you know. But it's also kind of it kind of looks like the other dossier we've seen of the Gigantopithecus that they're gonna be adding Ooh, soon. Yeah, I think that's a lot of where the idea for this came from. Obviously, this being a whole lot larger. Um, and the Giganto, uh, the Giganto is actually, oh, well, the Gorilla, um, yes. it's actually territorial, right? So it will attack you, right? Yeah, the Gigantopithecus isn't ah. the most violent of things, but, you know, if you get angry at, if it gets angry at you, it will definitely fight back. And there's a lot of interesting ways it'll fight, too, and I think that'll definitely come to play in the boss fight. You know how when you're fighting the Broodmother, you know, it's obvious, you can tell you're fighting a Thumbs. spider. Yep, mm-hmm. So, uh, by the way, uh, we're going to have a bunch of theory videos for the gorilla coming up, so stay tuned. We're going to oh, give yes. away everything just there, but we have a lot of theories for the combat, where it will be located, um, other cool things, and all the information we have so far is they're implementing arenas for bosses, actually. And if we take a quick picture over here, I have a reference of it. It is a arena battle they're kind of implementing, and... Uh, maybe it's under an opalisk, you know? Yeah, it looks like it could definitely be under one of them. When you look at a lot of them, they got the water kind of around them. They got places yeah. where there could probably be a cave leading down there where you would specifically you know, fight the broodmother in this. And when it comes to this boss that we're seeing now, I could definitely see in like a densely wooded forest yeah. um, where you would and, fight this guy. And in this picture, we can actually see like uh, the broodmother's in the middle over there and the humans compared to that. It's a crazy like lair. And it has the same kind of obelisk feel to it. Like, if we look around in the corners, we can see we have giant pillars, like the crystals and stuff. And it, look, it has, like, that obelisk kind of feel to it. Now, what I'm thinking is if you actually look up to the picture at the top part, it's like a giant hole going down. So what if, when you go to the summoning thing for the Broodmother, you know? Ooh. Or, like, other oh, obelisks. Are you yeah. thinking it opens up? Yeah, it opens up. It opens up, up and then you can then get uh -huh. go inside of it and then fight it. That would definitely be really cool yeah because so otherwise you wouldn't be able to get in there unless you're actually uh -huh. ready to fight it so that would definitely be a great addition i'd say yeah for sure so like let's say you put everything inside you click on summon and you just slowly go down to the cave you know the lair because i do have the it. platform that you stand on when you, uh -huh. you know, add everything to it they could definitely yeah. you know make it some sort of elevator and we've seen enough of the arc to see, know that they have that kind of technology so dude that is insane now um, in the previous videos, I've actually did a theory for, uh, Broodmother, and also for the dragons of where are they from? Like, how are they on the island? So, Zala, what do you think of this one? 
Um, well, this one, obviously, it looks like it could definitely be from, you know, a dense forest area. Um, we get a lot of that information from the Gigantopithecus dossier, and I think we can definitely, um, you know, relate a lot of that information to this guy. But obviously, he's much stronger. He looks like he's much more aged. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's been through some battles, been through some time, and apparently never lost a battle, and continued growing. Probably the alpha of, like, every mammal on the island by the looks of him. Mm -hmm. And I can no. definitely imagine when it comes to fighting, um, since the Gigantopithecus in the bottom of their dossier, it says that they can uh, throw their riders. So I can imagine this guy is going to throw you when you or fight him. throw rocks at you or something. Exactly. And Definitely using combat. that grip. Yeah, so for the combat, what do you think? I think, uh, like, with the combat when you're battling this guy, kind of like the brood ball that does, you know, he's someone's little uh, creatures and such, little, little spiders, so what if this guy has, like, a giant territory of gorillas in that I could shit? definitely <laughs> see something like that. He could call in the uh, Gigantopithecus, he could call in the uh, other monkeys that they're considering adding to the game soon. It really depends on when it's added and if everything else is in place for it to happen. This could obviously make it very difficult to fight this guy yeah. at the same team. <laughs> However, when it comes down to this guy, I don't know if he'll necessarily need that. Just because, you know, he'll be probably throwing players about throwing items about at players it's gonna be a pretty difficult boss fight as it is so whether they add it or not it could just you know really make it that much harder now with the brother we did we did the brother boss fight a lot of times we did a taping video and uh brother boss fights but the thing is it wasn't really a difficult boss at all right I i'd say so yeah it wasn't really that difficult because like it's not there's not much attacking you the spiders are easy to kill but with this guy <laughs> and actually the brother doesn't even fight you at all he sometimes has like some kind of spit at all, but like it's it's not really gonna damage you as much, and you can easily take down the brood mother with around two to three or four people at max. Uh, yeah. But with this guy, he seems like he's gonna be yeah. so much stronger. <laughs> now, I don't think it's gonna be on a you know completely new scale as compared to the brood mother. I think you'll still be able to take this guy on with like you know four or five people. Um, yeah. But I do believe like when it comes to actual you know fighting. He's going to probably do a lot more damage. Now, whether that's just from throwing items at you, that'll completely flatten you. Or if that's it's, thing, um, you, know? you know, direct melee damage, you know, who can say, but it's definitely, it has a lot of potential to it. Now, if this, if this guy, or this gorilla, or King Kong, I don't know what you want to call it, mm -hmm. um, if he has all these um, gorillas that are kind of like protecting him and stuff, it's going to make it even more harder for you to take him down because they're going to constantly attack you. If you're distracted yeah. by gorillas while this guy's throwing rocks at you or gonna be tree tough. trunks at you, then <laughs> that, that would completely throw you off guard and I think that would definitely be a very and difficult fight. <laughs> from seeing King Kong, bro, oh. and how he split that T-Rex open, I don't know if you should. I don't know if you should bring in a T-Rex in there. I think like maybe not the best the idea. T-Rex, or just like split it in half. <laughs> oh, this is so interesting, mm -hmm. man. I'm, I'm pumped. <laughs> yeah, it, it might even be possible that um, you see that injured area on him. That might be a yeah. vulnerable spot. That's where you need to shoot at with the gun. That could be possible. Mm -hmm. Um, Plus, I don't know if they're fully gonna implement that, mm -hmm. but it might be a thing. I think, he, compared to the Brew Mother, he's gonna be definitely more penetrable. Uh, yeah, penetrable. Uh, cause like, yeah. you can hit him in the wounds. Maybe that'd be like the huge damage, you know, like hit him in the wounds. I could easily like see that being the case. In the wounds. Yeah. That would really That hurt. would actually like, tear into him. Everywhere. Yeah, because the Brew has a lot of armor, it seems like. It has, it has a you know, thick carapace, so yeah. it'd be a little tankier. This guy, he seems like he's going to be more of an offensive boss. He'll probably kill you faster, but he might go down a little bit faster dude, at the same time. Look at those arms! It's like Ronnie Coleman! <laughs> it's like Ronnie Coleman, dude. Look at this. Yeah. Damn. Those are That's what I'm saying. He could probably throw you in. You're going to fly hundreds of feet at I this point. I think you're going to get one shot at that point. Oh, yeah. You're just going to die from it, fall damage probably, if he grabs you. I'll be very fast too, so I don't know what's gonna go on, man. I'm kind of spooked with this battle. It really but comes down to the arenas. Like, if you fight him in a does. cave or like a forest or something, ah. being able to kite him around different formations of rock, different trees, that may be your only chance of avoiding this guy's more devastating attacks. Now, we have an Arc Boss Arena concept over here, and this is actually kind of announced a little bit later. I mean, it was announced like a bit ago, and we'll be doing like a news video for this covering more coverage towards it, but. Basically, with this um, concept arena, this is specifically towards the Broodmother. They haven't really announced the dragon one or the gorilla. Maybe it's the same for all of them. But if it were to be in this same environment, you're going to be able to actually like hide in the corners and such mm -hmm. and hide under the uh, platforms, hide behind trees to avoid the guys throwing things at you. So that'd be actually a lot more easier. But battling this giant gorilla at the uh, current fighting place. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no, uh, yeah. Nothing. Uh. 
I, don't, I just don't know. You could like maybe trick him, have one person bait him into falling off an edge or something, and then shoot at him. But then he'll just come back around, throw something at you. I don't know. Yeah, it's just gonna be a tough foul. But anyways, um, yeah, I think it's about it, man. Any last words? No, I think um, hopefully you guys are all excited about seeing this new boss eventually being added to the game. Something more than the brood mother. Maybe we'll even be able to tame him and have something crazy like that going. That's so interesting. Exactly. Yeah, now with the Brew Mother, when it was first added, it was actually an exploit, or apparently it was an exploit, on how to tame him. We did a taming video, and we'll do one for the uh, gorilla if it's actually implemented. Yeah, as soon as it's implemented, fun. make sure right you uh, right, keep checking back on the channel to see that, guys. And make sure to subscribe for some stuff. And you know, take a look at the human compared to the guy's armor. He yeah. will definitely be able to like flatten you, no problem. <laughs> yep. And, oh, no. and anything around here that will give it away. Any kind of hints. I'm looking at the background. There's nothing really left. Got some cool DNA stuff going on. And it shows the skull over here. How its face looks like exactly. It's come so like some like sharp teeth and such. Mm -hmm. But uh I think that's about it, man. Yep, so definitely. Let us know what you guys think of this gorilla in the comments below and leave a like on it. You know, maybe throw a little bit of hashtag arc and just oh, yep, and keep, give us your theories. keep the conversations going about this crazy gorilla because we want to know what you guys have to say about this guy. All right, guys. So basically in the description, I mean, not the description, the comments below, comment below, basically hashtag arc and hashtag arc gorilla or something like that and comment below your own theory of this gorilla do you think it's a boss when it's going to be implemented where it's going to be implemented how is the boss fight going to work and just give us your own theory of the entire gorilla and tell us some more information and if we're interested in it we'll even do some more theories of your idea we'll of give you course credit and so on let's do let's do let's just end it here yep. anyways guys hope you all enjoy let's aim for 1000 likes Subscribe to Xalophony, guys. And As to we'll mouse. see you in the next video. We'll have a bunch of Arc Theory videos coming for the Gorilla. We'll talk about the uh, boss battles, the locations, combats, King Kong stuff, and all that kind of things. And, more. and yes. Also, guys, make sure to check out my other series on the channel. We have an amazing Let's Play going. Other information coming every day. So make sure you check that out. Subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you there.